Welcome to Esprit 2019 Tips and Tricks. Today we are going to take a look at how you can use a work offset transformation to make your NC code more readable and better match print dimensions during 3 plus 2 machining. This transformation is often referred to as inclined or tilted plane. To start, I'm going to create a work plane at the location of my feature. To do this, I'm going to use work plane from geometry and select this edge. Then I'm going to, that puts my work plane at the center of my hole. Then I can use rotate UVW to rotate 180 degrees around V. This new work plane will represent my local work offset after the base offsets transformation. Now I'm going to go ahead and store this work offset, naming it tilted plane. And then I can create a new work offset by right clicking in the project manager and saying new work coordinate. Refer to your post manual for how standard and additional work coordinates should be set up as each machine is a little bit different. My work plane is then set to tilted plane and rotate with part is set to point in orientation. Now I can associate my feature to that new work coordinate by right clicking on it and saying associate to active work coordinate. And now if I simulate this operation, the, I'll look at the spiral one here in particular, you would notice that there's no actual change from the way the operation simulated before. It is simply that the NC code output will change. So if I go ahead and post code for this operation to take a look at it. You will see that first we call up our base work offset, G54 in this case, followed by our work offset transformation. Now G68.2 is the common code used by FANUC and Mitsubishi controls. And uh, Siemens it uses cycle 800 instead. The X, Y, and Z values translate our work plane to the new location, and then our I, J, and K values rotate it into its new orientation. The method for rotation is typically designated by a P value following G68.2. In this case, we are using the Eulerian method, so the value is P0 and it is emitted. Another common method for rotation is roll pitch yaw, which is designated by a P1. If we take a closer look at our code, we will see that we have our X and Y zero, so we move right to the center of that hole because that's where our new local work offset is. And then our depth of cut is gonna be at Z negative 3.75. This, this value will exactly match the print value for the depth of that counter bore making the code much more readable. Another advantage of G68.2 is that it can help correct for errors during workpiece setup. Now, how do we know that this code is correct? We can confirm the output by using those same plane functions that we used before inside of a spree. So if I set my active work plane back to XYZ to represent my G54, in this case, or my base work offset, I can first use parallel plane to translate the work offset. So first 1.40825 in X, followed by 1.40825 in Y, and 2.9835 in Z. Now you can see my work plane is located at the center of that hole. And now we will do the rotation via the Eulerian method. So my first rotation, my I value is going to be around Z or W in this case, and that's going to be 135. My next rotation is going to be around my new active X axis or my U vector in this case. And that's going to be our J value of 54.7356. And then my final rotation is going to be around the new active W vector, 
or Z. And that's going to be our K value of 180 degrees. So now you can see that our work plane matches the work plane that we set previously. And I can confirm that by coming up to our drop down and selecting our tilted plane. And you'll notice that there is no change in our active work plane. Now this may be t seem tedious to set up a new work plane and work offset for every single different feature on this part. So to simplify the process, we can use the create work coordinate system function that is a part of the DPTG toolbox add-in. Once I have my settings all set up, I can simply click OK. And you can see that all of my operations have been sorted into new work coordinates based on their angle. And now I can use G62 8.2 for all of my operations. For more information about this function in the DPTG toolbox add-in, please see the link below this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please don't forget to share this video and subscribe to our channel.